Joe, Phil Hubbard here. Just want to say happy birthday to you. And uh, thank you for all that you did for me and our family and CRT and allowed us all to uh, have a great second life after CRT. And uh, I think the biggest lesson I learned from you, Joe, was that nothing is impossible. I remember the first time that you wanted to do a trade in Japan, you came up and asked me how long it would take to get us up and running in Japan. And my answer was about six months. And the very next morning you came up and handed me the first trade that you did overnight in Japan and said, well, here it is, go figure it out. So needless to say, we were up and running and uh, shorter than six months. So nothing is impossible. And what I respect most about you, Joe, is just how you've had this desire to change the world, uh, one country at a time, one person at a time, and um, you've been successful in that in uh, many endeavors that you've done. So congratulations and thank you so much for all that you've done and meant to me. Take care. Hi, Alan here, wishing Joe a very happy birthday. I worked for Joe almost 20 years and have always respected his great mind, thoughtfulness, patience, um, generosity, humility, and love of family. And not just his own family, but the family of all those who worked for him. I will never forget those incredible Christmas parties where we handed out a gift to each and every child of an employee. We were so very fortunate to have Joe as our leader. He is truly a great man, and with great admiration, I wish Joe a very happy birthday. Joe Ritchie, and I am in the back of it of an Uber in a freezing cold New York night, but I want to make sure I made the deadline for your birthday because you are one very special man. I remember the first time I met you, I loved your presence, your curiosity, your passion. We met because of our joint passion for wanting to make the world a better place for vulnerable children and we've continued to collaborate so that we can make a difference. Joe, you make a difference to so many people. You touch so many people, you show up, and you're an amazing, warm, gorgeous man. Happy, happy birthday. Have a wonderful celebration surrounded by friends and family. Much love. Joe, so it's Martha here. Uh, Merry Christmas. I'm here in front of my Christmas tree and I wanted to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas this year. And I also want to thank you for everything you do for your employees on a regular basis, buying us lunch and just being really, really great and um, charitable to those that are in your life. Um, I also want to thank you for being understanding when I had my emergency appendectomy that time when we were moving offices and and you didn't skip a beat, you know, you just were, were really great about that. And also, um, I wanted to thank you for letting us stay at your beautiful home in Carmel and um, you just, you know, you're really remarkable as far as your generosity and uh, kindness. So. Um, I'm very grateful to work for you for the last almost four years now, and I hope I can continue to do a good job for you and the family, and um, also I want to say Happy New Year and Happy Birthday, Joe. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? Happy Birthday. Um, just trying to think of a couple of things from our good old days at CRT that uh, I wanted to uh, mention, and um, that uh, really impressed me about uh, you and the and um, the, that you created it at CRT. Uh, first off, I want to say thanks for rescuing me from an accounting firm and bringing me on. I really appreciate that. It was great fun. But um, I think one of the things that really impressed me uh, during all our time there was after the crash. And um, I think by that time, we were probably somewhere between five and 600 employees. And I think we faced a situation where would we have to uh, lay people off or not lay people off and uh, you know the decision was made to stay the course and not lay anybody off and in addition to that uh, I think your decision to have, you know have the partners um, you know not take any um, uh, 
you know, anything other than their normal salary so that we could uh, basically take care of all the employees. The other thing that I really wanted to thank you for, and this has had a very profound effect on my life for sure, is uh, getting me involved in the uh, JV Dialogue Project. Um, I went there um, uh, to, to Moscow and uh, was with some of these people from Cooper's, uh, one of which happened to be Lori Winterhall. And uh, so I got to meet her and spend time with her in, in Russia. And I think we went back to Prague and then to London. And one thing led to another. And uh, uh, about a year later, we got married. So for that, Joe, I really, really thankful for you and for what you've done. To, and um, just CRT is such a great place. And um, I also want to take this opportunity to wish you and your gang a Merry Christmas and a very happy and healthy New Year. And uh, once again, Joe, thanks for bringing me there. And oh, by the way, before I forget, I still know how to add two and two, and I know what answer to come up with. So once again, happy birthday, Joe, and uh, thanks for having me involved in CRT and especially for getting involved in JV Dialogue. Have a great birthday. Bye. I don't hardly know where to start to give a tribute to Joe Ritchie, but all I can say is that I've seen you in the worst of times. I've seen you in some good times. And bar none, you are the greatest man I've ever had the privilege of knowing. And I know you don't feel that way. And I know you don't often think too well of yourself, maybe, at times. But you're an extraordinary human being, and I've been so blessed and honored to have walked by your side for the 12 years that I had the privilege to. You made me better. I think you've made my family better. And I hope someday to emulate your example through the care and guidance of others, maybe another young man like you did for me. I consider you my muse, my mentor, my Gandalf in every sense. And I just want to thank you from depths of my heart, everything you've done for me and my family. I love you, Big Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. Uh, looking forward to the year ahead. I uh, appreciate so much that I've learned from you. Um, particularly, my favorite thing is uh, seeing things the Joe Ritchie way. Uh, I feel very lucky. I tell people all the time that's my favorite part of the gig is working with you is uh, having that drip irrigated into my mind. You know, you grow up, you learn the K through 12 sort of scientific method way to solve problems. And then I had a pretty artsy mom that taught us the right brain artsy way to solve problems. And then law school, you learn the legal way to solve problems. Uh, and then I've had the chance to learn the Joe Ritchie way to solve problems, which has been invaluable to me, particularly for a guy who really gets a lot of joy out of solving problems. So thank you. I'm looking forward to the year ahead to solve a bunch more. The trajectory that we've been on the last few years, I expect it to be quite spectacular. And look forward to lighting up one of these, of course, Padron. Because everybody knows that these are the key to a long and prosperous life. Happy birthday, Joe Ritchie. Hey, Joe. Happy birthday. One of the core teachings of the Jesuits is to become men and women for others. This is how you live all aspects of your life. Putting others first just seems like a natural thing for you. And one of the reasons I admire you so much. Keep doing what you're doing, Joe. The world's a better place. Happy birthday. Joe, ever since I entered high school, you've been my hero. I try to think like you and act like you. I think one of the greatest lessons is with faced with options A and B and neither one looked good, You've always uh, told me how to look for option C. Uh, you continue to influence people throughout your life and even today and, and have an influence on me as well. Thank you uh, for 
for having such an impact on so many people. Thanks, Joe. Bye. When I think about what I respect the most about Joe, I think so much about his trust. I have never met somebody who is more willing to put trust in his circle than Joe. He has done some of the biggest and most amazing things in life, and it's because he's not only able to identify good character, but he's able to really trust those people. And I think that's what sets him apart from a lot of other people. Some people can find good character in others, but they're not willing to invest their trust the way Joe does. But when somebody feels that sense of respect and that sense of responsibility from him, they're going to do things bigger and better than they've ever done before. And that's what Joe brings out in people with his trust. Hey Joe, happy birthday. I am so grateful for you and grateful that um, our lives have intersected in this chapter of my life. You have taught me so much and one of the uh, best lessons came the second time that we ever met. We were at the Mama Cash house and we were with a group of people but you and I were the only ones up early in the morning and we were each sharing some coffee around the table and I just said, hey Joe, uh, I saw that you have the record for flying across the United States faster than, than anybody else. He said, tell me about that. You go, oh, I didn't really want to do it, but I had a buddy named Steve Fawcett who liked collecting records, and he wanted this one. Chuck Yeager had the record, and and I had the plane to do it. Yeah, when uh, Chuck flew across, he he had to black everything out because he took a lot of stuff out of his plane, didn't want anybody to see it really, and and he flew pretty hard. And when when he landed, he flew so hard that he had to. Uh, get rid of both his $500,000 engines. <clears throat> but you know, when when we did it, you know, I had a co-pilot and didn't take much out of the plane. And, and when we landed, the engines were fine. And that's how you ended it. And, and on cue, you set me up. I said, well, how'd you do it? And I remember you took a sip of coffee. And you said, tailwind. And I didn't know I was in for a lesson. You said, always look for tailwind. And the biggest contributor to tailwind is the people you choose to work with. And that ever since has been a motto, a mantra of our team is to look for tailwind. And so grateful for that lesson. Um, I respect so much about you and this was actually hard for me to figure out like where, what should I say that I respect I had a few things but I'm landing on your humility uh, and that doesn't maybe sound like as sexy as like your leadership your brilliance but uh, your humble leadership is um, the thing that I respect the most I am just, again, so grateful for you. I hope you have a wonderful birthday with friends and family that love you. Joe Ritchie, Tom Allen here from the grounds of the Annenberg Estate in Rancho Mirage, Palm Springs, California. You probably are familiar with this place. Uh, many, many, many heads of state, Queen of England, and uh, Ritchie's uh, frequent this place. This is where uh, Ronald and Nancy Reagan celebrated every New Year's Eve with Frank Sinatra and heads of state. This is where Obama met with President Xi of China. And when I think of heads of state, of course, I got to think of Joe Ritchie, a confidant and a counselor to heads of state. You have taught me much, Joe. You have encouraged me much. You have given so much. You have enriched our lives. And we just are so grateful for all you have done for so many. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, hello, Joe. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It's a great festive occasion. It is here in South Carolina. I just got home and you know home means a lot to me because I'm not here that much. The children are coming in over the next few days but 
I can tell you, it's good to be thinking about you. It's good to be thinking about friends and family during the holiday season. Joe, this tribute to you is well-deserved, and I can tell you, I'm so appreciative of your friendship, your leadership. America's a greater nation because of you, and I'm a stronger person, a wiser person because of you. Now, I'm not only gonna pray for you this coming year for 2019, but more importantly, I'm gonna pray for your family. They can continue to put up with you. Joe, I hope to see you soon, brother. I love you dearly. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Hi, Joe. Elizabeth, as you know. Hey, I'm doing um, returns. Thought I would say, there's a lot of returns, but as we know, this movie turns out. And I would like to thank you. Oops, there's traffic. Um, I'm glad I didn't end up on the cutting room floor. All right, we'll see you later and happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday, Joe. Hope you're with friends and family and having a great time. Just wanted to say, I've always been an admirer of yours and appreciated your passion for finding extraordinary people and building a family of friends around your life. You've always put friendship and relationships at the highest priority, and we've all been inspired and encouraged to do the same thing. So from all your friends in Arkansas, we look forward to you coming back down and having a goon around, an Arkansas goon around with all of us one more time. So many years, Hope you have many years ahead of you and lots of love and lots of adventure. Happy birthday, Joe. Hi, my name is Jock Boyer. Uh, I, with the help of Joe Ritchie, started Team Rwanda Cycling, which was the national cycling team of Rwanda with my wife here, Kimberly. I met Joe in 2006, and I think one of the biggest things that I have learned over the past decade plus from Joe Ritchie is generosity without any sort of strings attached. Generosity, uh, giving back to people that you in your heart know is doing the right thing and even without any expecting any return. And Joe has single-handedly really encouraged us to continue with uh, Team Rwanda Cycling. He basically kick-started the whole program with his uh, generosity and with his connections in Rwanda with President Kagame. He put a whole team of people together like Dan Cooper, Pep Jackson, Tom Ritchie, not related to Joe. But anyway, it, uh, it really kept us going and throughout the years Joe was always there. He graciously let us use his beautiful house in Carmel, California for countless fundraisers for the team. He's always supported that us and he was the person that we could always call when uh, when we needed something, especially you know, in Africa, in, in Rwanda. And what I respect most about Joe is that he took a chance on us and believed in us and believed in the vision that this cycling team would become more than just a bike team and that it would actually change the landscape of the country and that's exactly what it's done and now cycling's the number one sport in Rwanda it's driving tourism and um, we just found out that the best African cyclist for 2018 was Joseph Alaluya from Rwanda, and that wouldn't have happened without Tarichi. So we wish you the best. Happy birthday. Yes, happy. And thank, for, thank you for everything that you've done for us, for Team Rwanda, and for the Rwandans. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Happy and, birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Hey, Joe. Remember when we talked about all the great bands in history, the Rolling Stones, the Who, Fleetwood Mac, the Beatles, U2, how they were all built on a great rhythm section, the bass and the drums, that foundation, the bottom end, upon which the singers and the virtuoso players get to step out and shine. And as we talked about, none of this matters unless there's a great song written by a great songwriter. So I'm talking about you here, Joe. 
You're the great rhythm section and the songwriter and the singer. You're the foundation upon which so much has been built and upon whom so many of us have come to rely for your great heart, your mind, and your beautiful spirit. All of us that you've touched, we're all blessed the day you were born, young Joe. Uh, so happy birthday and many, many happy returns. Big love. Hi Joe, um, this is Carrie, or rather jet lag Carrie in England. I wanted to send you a happy birthday video from a very quintessential English building. It's one of my favorite places to be and spend time with myself. And looking over 2018, um, seeing you and being with you in Chicago and your family was one of the highlights of my year. Um, so of course we should take a moment to just celebrate you and the brilliance that you are. Thank you for letting me follow you around with a dictaphone for much of a weekend. Um, but there's a reason why we like to just listen to the wisdom and the stories that you have. You're one of a kind, Joe, and um, we're just so happy to have you in this world, changing it one solution at a time. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for blessing me in my little life um, and just for being such an inspiration to us. Um, and hopefully, uh, the tales you tell, the wisdom you sow into us will carry on for our lifetimes. And um, yeah, here's to many, 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 many more years of celebrating you and your family. I hope you have the best time. Happy birthday. God bless. See you soon. I've had the pleasure of working with Joe for many years now. And one of the lessons that I've learned from Joe is uh, when dealing with people, uh, make sure you listen and understand uh, the facts and listen to their thoughts and work on being fair with them. Uh, again, one of the things that I respect mostly about Joe is just his ability to be fair uh, with people uh, and you know try to treat them with hey, respect. Joe. So I'm out here taking in the scenic beauty of the LA River right there. Someone rings me up and says it's your birthday almost. And uh, what have I got to say about that? Well, what I've got to say is thanks. Thanks for a lot of things. First, I'm about to climb this big nasty mountain. Not scared. Can't hurt any worse than Rwanda. All good. Second, I got this amazing white hair. He taught me how to rock it. Rock it like a boss. And third, just thanks for teaching me that it doesn't matter what anybody's thinking or doing. I got love behind me and we'll go get it. All right, buddy. Love you. Talk to you soon. Happy birthday. I worked for Joe for over 30 years, but it never felt like a job. He gave his employees space and freedom to work independently. Best job I've ever had. Happy birthday, Joe, and thanks for the ride. Good morning, Joe. It's Keith, your old partner. Hey, I love it. I got a call at Mass this morning, uh, classic Fox River, that uh, you've got a video deal for your birthday. And uh, I guess my email went to spam and that we need it all by one o'clock. So, uh, listen, man, um, I just want to say that I am extremely grateful for having somehow, uh, somehow divinely met you so many years ago. And uh, you're not the Messiah, but you led me to the Messiah. And I thank God for that. And uh, I just want to say it's been incredibly unbelievable to have been able to sit next to you for 22 years and to learn and to grow and uh, uh, for that I am so grateful and uh, everything that you've done for me and for my family I just want to say thank you so much and uh, I appreciate it. Happy birthday, man. See ya. Wisdom, intellect, and humility. It's a triple crown that you rarely find in one person. 
But all three are hallmarks of Joe Ritchie. The world has a fever of 104, and so we think that's normal. Joe's emotional and behavioral temperature is 98.6, which is so rare these days as to make him seem peculiar. But he's not motivated by what motivates most people. His motivation is not to help himself, but to help others. He connects with important people and connects them with each other, not to advance his own career or even theirs, but to help them help others. He connects leaders who don't even realize they need to be connected. Whether it's orphans or access to water or rebuilding ravaged economies, there's nothing in it for Joe. But then that's everything to him. Happy birthday, Joe. Very grateful to be a part of this tribute that uh, they're putting together for you. Hope it's uh, an amazing day and that you're well celebrated. Looking back on important lessons that I've learned from you, I would say there are many, uh, but I think one of the main ones that uh, really stands out in my life is just family. Uh, living uh, next door to you for several years and living in proximity for many years after that, uh, we learned a lot of valuable lessons from you and what it means to just have family and children and doing life together and that really impacted us, impacted our kids. And even to this day, uh, just the relationships that we have with you and Sharon and all your children are, uh, are, are, are a treasure to behold. So thank you so much for that part. Um, second question that was asked was, uh, what do I respect about you? Well, again, there's a, a multitude of things that I respect about you. But I think the biggest thing is just to uh, have watched you all these years and just to see how you have uh, thought, not only outside the box, but thought outside of your own life and uh, you give it away. Uh, you're always thinking of how can you go and uh, make something better for others. And I think you really do follow the mandate of loving God and loving others and uh, you live it out in the full spectrum. So again, happy birthday and may you bless and fun with me in the year ahead. Love you, Joe. Hi, Joe. Wishing you a very happy birthday. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Um, I can't thank you enough for all the times you believed in me and gave me opportunities that I definitely didn't deserve. You met me when I was a young, naive girl and you mentored me, um, you encouraged me, you advised me, you always made time for me and I really admire how you are always so generous with your time, with your wisdom, with all your resources. Um, that's that's one quality that I learned from you, the importance of um, being generous, of being gracious, even when people don't deserve it. There's so many opportunities you gave me that I really didn't deserve, but because you believed in me, I managed to do so much more than I could have imagined. So thank you so much for that. Um, thank you for always being there always being there for people in the good times and the bad times and especially for me. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for teaching me the importance of believing in myself, of being who I am, um, of believing that who I am is more than enough. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. G'day Joe. Happiest of birthdays to you mate. Uh, you really need to know that no words truly can express how much you mean to Linz and I. Um, you're a very special soul. Joe and uh, knowing you and your family over these last number of years has brought such immense joy and blessings into our lives. Uh, so thank you for, for that. Thank you for what you've done for me, for my family. Thank you for what you've done for the whole human family in general. Uh, the level is astounding. Um, so on behalf of all mankind, mate, happy birthday. Uh, your life, your love, the way you tirelessly serve is is truly magical and you're an amazing man and it's a pleasure to know you and to work around you and to um, be inspired by you and again words can't express what you mean to me and to Linz and I and uh, yes yeah, so thank you very much have a great day have a, a lovely Christmas season and all the best no words really can describe my um, appreciation and admiration for you, Joe. You are my mentor and my hero and like a second father to me in many ways. And I, um, 
I just feel so grateful to have met you and to have you in my life. You help me feel, you know, cherished and appreciated and um, the love of God, which is a big deal to feel those things. Those are the treasures of this life. And um, it was really fun getting these videos from all your friends and loved ones and um, hearing these great stories and how much you've blessed everyone's life. Um, I've said this to you before, but in the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, uh, George Bailey is shown what his life would be like if he were never born. And I often think that if you had never come to this earth, you know, this whole world would be Pottersville. <laughs> Entire nations, communities, families. I mean, the, the unbelievable impact and influence you've had for good is, can't be quantified. You're an absolute legend in every way and I'm convinced you have magic in that mustache. Um, but you know, the thing that, besides the incredible things you've done and the incredible you know, successes you've had and the beautiful family that you have with such beautiful hearts, some of the greatest accomplishments a man could ever claim in this life, the thing that you do that I admire most is that you just see people. You see people with the most gracious, loving eyes and you're gentle and humble and kind. And I'll never forget the first time I met you at the Jackman home, um, and the first time I met you in person. On the phone, I was already smitten, but when I met you in person and you said, uh, you, you know, you just said, oh, I have a background in finance and I've done some work in Africa, and you completely brushed off any of your accomplishments. And it wasn't, it wasn't some humble play, like you genuinely didn't, you weren't interested in talking about yourself. You wanted to talk about these children that you could help and, and issues and how you can make a difference and that that's it you just have the most other centric approach in this life and it's absolutely stunning and I'm so grateful for you and the way you've changed my worldview and the way you've impacted my life spiritually financially professionally and interpersonally I mean you are such a gift happy happy birthday my dear friend so much love to you hey Joe happy birthday uh you gotta know we all love you and we love your craziness we're so glad God made you and parked you in our way so that uh, we could pick up a little bit more crazy and uh, spread it around the world so love you and I hope you have a phenomenal birthday and you're surrounded by uh, your loved ones and hope to see you soon and share in your great wisdom Joe Richie I love you man I think uh, the song that comes to mind is R-E-S-P-E-C-T I respect you with my whole life my heart. I will follow you anywhere. I've told you that before and it's true. And you, you have impacted the lives of so many people. The, uh, the impact won't be, I, I think the totality will only be known for many years to come around the world. And it's such an honor to know you and call you a friend. It's the greatest honor I've, I've had as far as you're, you're one of the greatest men I've had in my life as a mentor. I appreciate the hell out of you, brother. Love you. Hey Joe, happy birthday. Uh, I just want to share the uh, one of the things I've learned from you, one of the lessons is, of course, your ability at picking people uh, is second to none. But one of the tricks that I don't think a lot of people know about that I really uh, have enjoyed watching is when you use uh, the kid test. When you take your kids or other young kids like Joe or Jack uh, with Anne Marie when you went on a couple of your trips um, and use them as the ultimate test of, of someone's character. Uh, it's so sneaky, but it's very, very effective, and I'm sure you've, you've gotten a lot of use out of that, and that's something that I've certainly put in my back pocket of, of, of ways to um, determine the character of, of somebody you're meeting with. Um, and then, of course, one of my favorite memories is, is meeting you in Geneva when I asked if I could date Ian Marie, and you pulled out the spider. Um, that is, and made uh, literally a jump through the roof, at least on the inside, but it was certainly funny and showed kind of your, your funny side. And, and since then, having coffee and cigars and beer and cigars is, is just some of my favorite memories with you. So, hope you have a happy birthday and look forward to seeing you soon. Love you, Joe. One of the things I've learned from Dad, strangely enough, is to settle <laughs> for things. Um, I've learned that in most areas of life, um, being content, um, letting things go, um, allowing for minor annoyances, settling for um, 
imperfection in most areas of your life um, has freed up the space that I needed to double down on the things that that really matter um, and so there's then there's just a few things that I won't and don't settle for um, so I'm grateful to be in relationships with people who matter to me and uh, only drinking high quality coffee but <laughs> because I let most other things go um, and can just double down on the ones that really matter. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. I just want to let you know that um, I just really appreciate um, your generosity and your love for your family. And you are always mm -hmm. trying to make the world a better place. And I love that about you. Everywhere I go, uh, I'm always known as Joe Ritchie's son. And I actually think that's awesome because you've had so big an impact on everyone and the whole world. and. You've taught me that the way everybody thinks about a thing isn't necessarily Hi. the right way to think about it. So uh, we love you and hope you have a great birthday. Hey Dad. You always taught me to see the best in people, even when I thought they didn't deserve it. And you always taught me to do the things that I knew to be right. Thank you. And thank you for teaching both those things, not with words, but by example. I'm really lucky to have you for dad. I love you, dad. Happy birthday. Hi. One thing I admire about my dad, which I hope is also a life lesson that I've learned from him, is my dad has an amazing ability to see things that a lot of people can't see. And there are ways that that gift is really obvious to the world, um, like in areas of business and economic development and, and finance and things like that. But one way in which that capacity to see is less obvious but has been a lot more important and formative for me is his ability to see people and I've seen that in a number of different areas in my life um, the one I'm going to talk about is um, seeing him see people when we have traveled together I spent a lot of time traveling with my dad as a kid we went to a lot of interesting wonderful places and I remember just observing the way he conducted himself, but also the way he, he talked about the people in those places, and, and it really deeply affected me. Um, and I saw that he formed deep friendships with the people that we stayed with and the people that we saw, that he admired them, um, that he saw what was cool about them. He would talk to me about their unique gifts and interesting qualities in a way that made me really appreciate them more. And also, we went to a lot of places where the people um, were suffering a lot for, because of different economic or political difficulties in the country. And I especially remember the way that he would talk about what they were going through and he would just speak of it in a way that made me understand it so vividly and personally. Um, I was really able to connect deeply with what they were going through because of the way that he described it, the comments that he would make. Um, and I admire that because I think that beyond just intelligence and perceptiveness. I think that the ability to speak of those people in the way he did um, showed a really deep gift of mercy and an ability to know and see and honor these people whose um, lives didn't really intersect that much with us, ours, um, but that, that he would know them um, and 
recognize that their lives and their stories were as important as ours were. And I'm really grateful for that. So thank you, Dad. You're amazing. Happy birthday. I love you. Hi. <laughs> um, I love this idea. Hopefully I'm doing it right. But I think for me, um, it's been really cool to think about what I respect most about Joe, about you, Joe. Um, I think that one of the things that's come up for me a lot this year is thinking back on when I used to meet with you once a week to kind of try and craft that book about your paradigm and kind of what you've learned about God and life and family and really just your your perspective and your story. Uh, I really believe that that was such a groundbreaking experience for me personally and I think it really taught me so much about thinking bigger and um, just not necessarily staying in my own little world and my own experience but really broadening, broadening how I think and challenging myself. So I just really respect the way that you think and the way that you empower people around you to um, take risks, to, to really change and grow and evolve. Um, I really respect the way that you have your story is so much of a story of evolution and personal growth and really not just making assumptions, but thinking and believing for yourself. I think that's incredible. And I'm super thankful for the way that that has absolutely impacted my life. So this is awesome. And thanks so much for all you do. I always thought it was really, really cool that my dad always made it clear how his family and his kids were the most important thing uh, in his life. And I never doubted that uh, that I was uh, valuable and, uh, and worthwhile because largely of the way that my parents uh, treated me. And uh, that includes my dad who had uh, lots of other things vying for his attention and he uh, nevertheless somehow managed to make it uh, keep his focus on the things that he made it clear that he cared about and uh, yeah my dad made it very clear that he cared about me and my siblings and I value that very much and will continue to value it. The thing I admire most about you, Dad, is your uh, consistency of personhood. You are the same with uh, bellboys and presidents. You never change. You are always kind. You are always humble. Um, there's been so many situations where I've watched you, uh, people where people were being ridiculous and not giving you good service or whatever, and you never have ever. I've never seen you be entitled. Um, or frustrated or rude um, you're just the kindest person I know and because of that whenever I am not being kind I always know it and I always feel bad about it um, you've been a conscience for your kids whether or not you like it um, you've taught us all how to walk through the world in humility and not to think of ourselves more highly than we ought and to not um, expect to be treated better or worse or anything because of anything external. Uh, you truly are a king in the way that you carry yourself. Um, and I've told you this before, but I met a guy on a plane once who used to work in Chicago uh, during the time you did. And I told him you were my dad and he said, Joe Ritchie is the one man that nobody has anything bad to say about. And that is really true, Dad. No one has anything bad to say about you. And I know you hate that. I know this is your least favorite thing in the world, but that's what makes you so wonderful. So I love you very much. I'm so lucky to be your daughter. I'm so lucky to have learned from you. 
You have taught me everything important about what it means to be a person. So I love you. Happy birthday.